We're not exactly sure what's going to happen, but it certainly looks like there's going to be an invasion. So it's a very worrisome situation. It's very stressful. The threat of a Russian invasion into Ukraine seems imminent, with the international community now on edge. With Russian troops stationed along Ukraine's border, many Ukrainian Canadians are fearing the worst. Winnipegger Nick Kravets has many family and friends in Ukraine. His wife's family lives in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, not far from the front lines. They're now in the eighth year of war, uh, being brought on by them, by their neighbor, uh, and a, a regime that flouts international rules and law and does not respect sovereignty of independent nations. Um, and Ukraine has paid a very heavy price. In a sign the West is getting ready for a worst-case scenario, the Canadian Embassy in Kiev has been relocated and diplomatic staff are being sent to a temporary office in the western part of the country. The temporary office will continue to provide services to Canadians in Ukraine by appointment only. The West or the you know international community really needs to enhance deterrence me measures. They have to become more credible, more timely and more um, proactive rather than reactive. They should be sanctioning now before it's too late. On Sunday, Canada further announcing our military is moving troops out of Ukraine too. The Defense Department says soldiers who have been in Ukraine as part of a training mission are being temporarily relocated to elsewhere in Europe. The department won't say where the soldiers have gone, just that the move allows the military time to revoke its efforts. It's not just for Canada, it's, it's going to be a very dangerous and difficult situation. Uh, Globally, Miroslav Shkandri, former professor of Slavic studies at the University of Manitoba, says Western and NATO leaders need to stand up to Russian President Vladimir Putin now. Putin is a dictator. He is a tyrant. He is not interested in democracy. We are playing by democratic rules. We are. We are. We believe in uh, international relations. We believe that in human rights and civil rights, Putin exploits this. Kravet says this isn't just solely a Ukrainian issue, it's an issue for everyone. Anybody who cares about European security, transatlantic security, which is Canadian security, uh, and really it's anybody who, who respects the rule of law, sovereignty, human rights, um, again, and they're all being flouted blatantly uh, by Russia and, and Putin's regime. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa, City News.